What is something you wish that existed 10 years ago that really could have supported you at that time? I love this question. Um, when I was running through the questions pre-recording here, I, I, yeah, I loved this one. And I think the thing that always comes to mind is that when I was in high school, athletics was my big focus and YouTube was just getting started. I mean, it was in its first five, eight years. It was very infant and nowhere near the library of content that it is today. Um, but realistically, looking at where it's at today, being a young athlete 10 to 15 years ago, the ability that not just young athletes, but really anyone who wants to learn anything, there's so much information through visual learning that's available on YouTube. And you can use things like the reviews, the comments to kind of help you sift through the BS and find the stuff that's really going to actually help you move the meter and change how you're working on something. So I think that YouTube is such a profound resource right now. I'm a visual learner. So being able to watch someone go through it, not just be told what to go do, um, I think would have been something 10 or 15 years ago as a young athlete trying to get better at my skills would have been something I just absolutely abused having it at my disposal, you know? And I love that you said sifting through the comments. I love that because I always say, I don't know if, if I got it from someone else and I hope I'm not remembering. I, I, I think I kind of came up with on my own, inspired by the people, of course. But I always, I was one time saying the context is in the comments. Like what social media, yeah. you posting and look at the comments now there's some very negative comments in there a lot of time but the you learn now you look at the comments and then open up the article or whatever post it is the context is in the comments so with with like the idea of like teaching how to use it better more efficient more to 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 benefit you it's learning how to use the tools and that's one thing i love that you said the sifting through the comments oh dude i the, i love the context is in the comments little blurb there mm -hmm. i think that you know obviously youtube and anywhere else on the internet it's easy to find the wrong information you know um because there's no rules against people not putting out the wrong information and so I think it is important to still be able to critically think for yourself and use those comments as a way to determine is what this person is giving me in this video real or are they kind of throwing me a fib here and barking up a tree that's not necessarily going to help me out.